How's it going? I have around four months until I graduate university and officially become an unemployed programmer. However, I don't think I'm quite yet qualified as I see other unemployed programmers with far better portfolios than mine. So if I want a chance at landing the job at the local Walmart, I am going to have to make something to stand out. So the first thing I need to do is some market research. into your portfolio. My recommendation, which is going to be relevant for many people, is some kind of a budgeting tracking application. Now the key that makes this project great is that it forces you to learn. So with that research, I learned two things. The first thing being to solve a problem that nobody has. And secondly, make it as user unfriendly as possible. Both of these goals seem right up my alley. So now for the idea. So I settled for a Rubik's Cube bot in Discord that uses four buttons and has a totally intentional eight second delay every time you make a move. So first we need to make a bot. Discord has a Python API, which is great because if I had to use their JavaScript API, I probably would have quit by now. Making a Discord bot is honestly pretty easy. You just have to give it complete control over your server, an API key, and tell it to run. And then with 15 lines of code, you can get a bot to go online on your server. The next thing I need to do is create the Rubik's Cube. Luckily, I'm using Python, so I get to import Manon for visuals, import a Rubik's Cube plugin, then write like 30 lines of code, and now we got the visuals. Next, I added some buttons so the user can control what faces it can see on the cube. And then I also added a button for rotating the front face. Everything is going so well, so I decided I would get confused for three hours on how to control the camera view. That way I get the full experience of programming. The problem I was facing was that I was controlling the camera to rotate around the cube. This camera has its own coordinates and you probably don't care to be honest so I just grabbed the code for the button and made four new buttons instead of the five previous ones. One for flipping the cube, to look at the back sides and the bottom, then three buttons for turning the left face, the front face, and the top face. Now finally we have everything we need and I get to test it out. I summoned the Discord bot into the general chat that my friends and I share, sent the message saying that we could solve this cube together, and was promptly ignored. So with that encouragement, I went into my own Discord server, added the bot, and tried using it. It was slow, like really slow. It took around two seconds for Discord to tell my bot to start rendering. Then the rendering took like four seconds. Then updating the embed took like another two seconds. And in the end, it ended up taking like eight seconds per move. To try and fix this, I made two modes for it, a slow mode and a fast mode. The fast mode is just using PNGs and the slow mode uses GIFs. This made it like four seconds per move, which is still bad. However, the good thing is that nobody wanted to use it in the first place, so it doesn't really matter. However, if you for some reason want to try out the Discord bot, there's a link in the description and you can try messing with it. And if someone manages to solve it, I might even do something special. And also if you like this video, I would appreciate some support. It lets me know to make more videos like this, so consider subscribing.